In a move to counter IPOP's two-week sit-at-home order, the Chief of Army Staff, Major General Tuarid Lagwaja, has deployed troops to the southeast. And he says citizens should go about their lawful daily activities. This is the focus of our first hot topic this morning on The Breakfast. And licensed customs agents are projecting a 15% increase in the imports of cars owing to the removal of the import adjustment tax by President Bola Tinubu. And that's our second hot topic this morning. And of the press, will be having an analyst join us to take a look at the stories that made it to the front pages of some national dailies this morning. You want to know what the dailies are saying? Good morning. I am Maureen Menongwe. It's been such a delight to know that you're out there joining us as always on The Breakfast. How are you? I hope you had a good night rest. Well, let's just go straight to our very first stop trending. Lagos girl running from dog dies from electrocution. A 13-year-old girl, Tai Ojo, was on Saturday electrocuted to death in her residence in the Makoko area of Yaba, Lagos. This tragedy occurred while the teenager was running away from a barking dog in the compound, the compound where she lives. Now, Taya got scared when the dog started barking while on her way to the toilet located within the premises. In her attempt to flee from the dog, she accidentally touched the outdoor unit of an air conditioner and she was electrocuted. She was rushed to a nearby hospital where she was confirmed dead. Very sad story there. And our second top trending, 12 million households to get 8,000 Naira for six months. And that's according to the president, President Bola Tinubu. President Bola Tinubu says that 12 million families will get 8,000 Naira over a period of six months to ameliorate the hardship faced by Nigerians as a result of subsidy removal. In a letter to the House of Representatives, read by Speaker Tajuddin Abbas during plenary on Tuesday, Tinubu said it was to support, uh, to enable poor and vulnerable Nigerians cope with the cost of meeting basic needs. On well, the letter for approval of conditional financing for the National Social Society Net Program, scaled up by the National Assembly, he said this would have a multiple effect on about 60 million individuals. In order to guarantee the credibility of the process, he said digital transfers will be made directly to beneficiaries' account. And that's a very critical aspect of this new subsidy uh, removal um, palliative, the transparency of it all. Digital transfer of these monies, 8,000 to 12 million families. Nigerians want to be sure that these monies get to the hands of those they are said to be going to. Good move. But of course, on the flip side, we hear that uh, those in the Senate uh, have also budgeted something really big for themselves. You want to find details of that when we go to Off the Press. And we'll be doing that in a moment. Do stay with us. We'll be right back. <music> 